And the other key thing, Madam Secretary, is that this is terrorism, right? Uh, well, it, it certainly uh, is something that I would not rule out. Uh, the way it was carried out, the kind of device that was used, uh, again, until we know the perpetrators, the pre people, person or persons who were responsible, you don't know the derivation, you don't know their intent, uh, but I would not rule that out. Well, right, I mean, it, it, uh, clearly the guy was trying to, if not kill people, scare people, which is terrorism. Uh, well, uh, and and uh, uh, we do know that if if that it, you know if, if the explosions actually had been properly done and and ignited, uh, that would have been quite a fireball in that particular area. It was not properly done. It was not uh, effective. And one of the very significant things that occurred here were was that street vendors noticed this this truck improperly parked, notified uh, law enforcement, law enforcement immediately uh, took action. Really an illustration about how everybody has a role to play when we're talking about our security. Right. I think the American public sees it as an act of terrorism, but uh, the proof will be in uh, the coming days. But let me ask you, um, Mohammed Ali, Ali Biari is, was a member of the working group. You promoted him, and it said there, I've got articles here that say you swore him in as a member now of your, um, let's see, the Homeland Security Advisory Group. Uh, he's apparently been given a secret clearance. Uh, do you know Mr. Ellie, uh, Ellie Bieri? Yes. Okay. Um, were you aware he had a secret clearance? Uh, uh, I believe everybody on the Homeland Security Advisory Council ultimately gets a secret clearance. <laughs> Would you be surprised the if they, they well, I don't want to tell but um, were you aware that he spoke? at the uh, big event in Texas honoring the Ayatollah Khomeini? Uh, I'm not aware of all the places he has spoken. Uh, the chairman's time has expired. Let me, if I could just have 15 seconds, this is quick. Secretary, were you aware that a week ago today, from his home computer, he accessed the SLIC database, got information off, and has been shopping a story to national media on Islamophobia directed at the governor of Texas and the security folks there in Texas. Were you aware of that? No. Um, Thank you, Mr. I'm Gold. telling you it happened. Do we need to appoint somebody or will you have that investigated yourself and if so, by whom? Well, uh, since I don't know the facts, I'll have to look into the facts. So you'll be the one to make that call? We'll have somebody, and it'll be myself or someone. Does it concern you at all that it happened? Yeah, the gentleman's time has expired. Uh, Secretary, since you seemed a little fuzzy about LBRE, let me make sure you leave here understanding. He was a featured speaker at the tribute to the great Islamic visionary Ayatollah Khomeini, December 11th of 2004. He, you had him on your Countering Violent Extremism Working Group. You promoted him, and from your own website, Secretary Napolitano swears in Homeland Security Advising Council members. You swore him in, and according to your testimony here today, that's where he got the security clearance. He has uh, written uh, glowingly of Kotbi, on whom Osama bin Laden relied heavily for his barbarism justification. He has written against the trial and conviction of the Holy Land Foundation's funding of terrorism. He uh, has still remained in this Homeland Security Advisory Council, and now... Um, he has accessed a week ago the state and local intelligence community database. He took documents that said for official use only and shopped them uh, with national media. It appears not only is 
our security being compromised, a secure system, but he's using it to help his friend politically, the president. I've got one question, and it's not a gotcha question. There's nothing confusing about it. Before you came in here today, were you given information about El Abiyari using the state and local intelligence community, um, community database and taking information he downloaded and shopped the media? No. If anyone from Homeland Security, your staff, advised anyone else that you were briefed last night, they would be wrong. Is that correct? Yes. Thank you. 